हाई ऑल ऑफ यू एम शब्बीर फ्रॉम एडू के मी और आज का टॉपिक है साइक्लोन मुका साइक्लोन ऑफ बे ऑफ बंगाल ये काफी न्यूज में है एंड आई कैन सी द लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन द नेट यूट्यूब में बहुत सारे वीडियोज हैं डिस्कशन ऑन मोका साइक्लोन बस सर्टन नुअंसेस जो लगा कि आप लोगों को पता नहीं होगा बिकॉज वेन द क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट इन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी वो जो रेगुलर टॉपिक्स हैं वॉट आर साइक्लोन हाउ आर दे फॉर्म्ड वाई दे आर मोर इन बे ऑफ बेंगाल लेस अरेबियन सी आई थिंक दीज आर नाउ मच रिकॉर्डेड एंड मच डिबेटेड यूपीएससी विल गेट इन टू a different line of discussions and questions all together let me see if can address some of those questions of yours so moka cyclone what we know is that it is cyclone of bay of bengal and uh, it is named after a place in yemen a uh, yemen mein ek jagah hai moka ke naam par and you must look up where is moka moka is the southern part of yemen bordering the red sea uh, just after the babel mandab it is not in the gulf of eden so uh, please isko locate kare kahan par aden hai Where is Sana and where is Moka? And yes, Moka is the same name they use for coffee also. In fact, Yemen, Ethiopia, this part is very important for coffee production. This is the area from where coffee was discovered to some extent. So Moka coffee, Moka jaga, us is inspired. A other video I'll record where I'll discuss how the naming is done and what is the system of the names list when they are trying to identify. the tropical cyclones under certain type of parameters the world meteorological organization has laid down so i'll discuss that in some other video now one of the discussion that we have is that ye cyclone jo month of may mein hai wo bada unusual hai tropical cyclones generally happen in the late summers september end mein october or november mein hoti hain in fact november is the peak month for these tropical cyclones the tropical areas tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn ke beech mein hoti hain But you should also know that the tropical cyclone phenomena is the typically called as bimodal phenomena. When I say bimodal, it means that one year there are two times. So April and May is one of the months. The another month is the month of late summers, October and November as the peak month. Yes, this fact is that April and May ke cyclones are not very common cyclones. They are a little unusual. Hai. In fact, last four five years, these cyclones of April and May have become more common. One of the very devastating ones was one called as Oki. Oki, it impacted the southern part of Kerala. Uske baad 2019 onwards, it consistent rahe hain. 2019 mein month of May mein we had the funny cyclone. It was very devastating. It impacted parts of Odisha. Then 2020 mein we had the Amphan cyclone, which impacted वेस्ट बंगाल सदर्न वेस्ट बंगाल को ये कंप्लीटली फैटन कर दिया था इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी हैड यास साइक्लोन वाई ए एस सो ये रहे हैं बट आई रिपीट दे आर नॉट एज कॉमन एज वी हैव इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर और नवंबर मोका साइक्लोन इसलिए भी न्यूज में है बिकॉज इट्स कंसिडर्ड एज द फर्स्ट साइक्लोन ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री यू मस्ट नो वन कैटेगराइजेशन गिवेन बाई डब्ल्यू एम ओ वर्ल्ड मिटोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट क्लासीफाइज A circulation system is cyclone only if the wind speeds are more than 63 kilometers per hour, which in another unit called as 38 knots. If the wind speed are more than 38 knots or 63 kilometer per hour, they are called as proper cyclonic storms. Or is wind ko gale force wind bhi bolte hain. So just know this. According to WMO, a cyclone is when it's more than the gale force winds. But in India, me jo IMT hai. it classifies cyclones a bit differently in fact imd uses two systems of classification one is a system of classification for the low pressures of the indian ocean and second is a classification of the super cyclones the system of low pressure classification of imd and also accepted by wmo is that there are six type of low pressures ek a low pressure ek a depression ek a deep depression then cyclonic storms severe cyclonic storms and super cyclones aap ye table dekh sakte hain with the respective wind speeds so deep depression is up to a wind speed of 61 km an hour and it becomes a cyclonic storm only when the winds cross 61 km an hour and super cyclone when the wind speeds are more than 220 21 km an hour so aap ye classification yaad rakhein And do remember the WMO says 
that the second storm is when the wind speeds are more than 60 km an hour or 38 knots. This is a classification of IMD hai, where it classifies a super cyclone on the basis of the effect. There are five categories of super cyclones category 1, category 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is the same table. Mein dekh sakte hai. Wind speed of 120 to 150 category 1 hai. 150 to 180 category 2 hai. and if it's more than 250 km an hour it's called as a category 5 cyclone which is the most catastrophic. So UPSC may aise sawal aa jate hai based on the wind speed and the categories. Do remember it. Now one question I'll ask you is ye jo power of cyclone hai, tropical cyclone hai, what does it depend on? I'll give you four choices. Let's see if you can, if you can answer it. The power of tropical cyclones are dependent on number one, the heat from the sea. Number two, the power of the easterly trades. Number three, the power of the temperate westerlies. And number four, the high altitude planetary winds, which are the upper tropospheric winds. So what do you think of these four choices, which are correct? In fact, if I can rephrase karu, I can ask you, only two statements are current, only three statements are current, and maybe all the four are correct. This answer is all the four are correct. Most of you might miss out marking the role of temperate westerlies. Temperate westerlies also play a role in energizing the tropical cyclones towards India. There's one more related question, and you must try to answer this also. How are cyclones classified? Jo abhi discussed kiya tha, the classification of cyclones. Look at the three statements. They're classified on the basis of the strength of the winds. Number two, on the basis of heavy rains. Number three, on the basis of storm surge. So what do you think? Uh, only one statement is correct. Only two statements are correct. Uh, three statements are correct and none of them are correct. I know obviously aap log mark nahi karenge, none of the correct. Isme do to pakka theek lag rahe hain, the strength of winds and rainfall. But many of you might miss out the role of storm surge. Jo devastating power or the power of cyclones jo hai, isme storm surge ko bhi uthate hain as a part of the classification. So storm surge is something you would have missed. Now because I'm discussing storm surge, I would like you to know what they are. Storm surge as essentially very high velocity waves. They are driven by the strong winds. These strong winds, jo hawa chalti hai along the coast, they can force the winds. Ye sea water ko kar dal deti hai land ke andar mein. The storm surge are essentially very powerful waves. In some books, they are also called as tidal waves. But please make sure you don't confuse a storm surge tidal wave uh, as the tsunami. Tsunamis alag hote hain. Tsunamis are generally tectonic in origin. Whereas storm surge are the consequence of the atmospheric conditions. So the devastating aspect of tropical cyclones hai. It is not only because of strong rains and very powerful winds. It is also because of the inundation, the floods caused by the storm surge. Storm surge ke kai sare photographs and lot of videos hain where the water can dramatically increase in a very very short time. Ye kuch uh, videos recorded hain Florida mein, parts of eastern US mein and you can see the storm surge rising dramatically in matter of few minutes. Now, the, one of the questions I'll ask you is, these storm surge hote hai, ye storm surge are the consequence of what factors? I'm giving you six statements. Dhyan sunne. Statement one is low pressure, atmospheric low pressure. Number two is the wind speeds. Number three is the configuration of the sea bed. Number four is funneling effect. Number five is the speed and the angle with which the winds approach the coast. And number four is the tides themselves. So I have given you statement. You tell me how many of the choices are correct. Three choices correct, four choices correct, five choices correct, or all the six are correct. Yes, I think some of you have understood that all the six are correct. If a mistake hone ka chances tha, some of you would have missed out or left out the role of the seabed. And some of you would have missed out the role of the tides. Storm surge are essentially large waves and they are beyond the normal tidal waves. So, when high tides or spring tides, if at that time mein we have a strong storm surge, it can aggravate the problems of coastal inundation. So, in this question, mein, tides are also responsible for the strength of the storm surge. So, these are two questions. 
please see that you answer this properly in fact i have taken this content from the national disaster management site where they tell us about tropical cyclones what is the intensity what are the impacts and how do we classify them now that i'm discussing all the classification isi video mein bata dete hain ek cyclone alert ka bhi classification hai the alert classification is done by a regional specialized meteorological center of tropical cyclones short mein isko rsmctc bhi bolte hain regional specialized meteorological center for tropical cyclones and northern in the notion mein iska center new delhi imd hai and it has been approved by the wmo ye teen type of alerts release karte hain the alerts are yellow alert orange alert and red alert this is called as pre cyclone watch this is released about 72 hours before the second stage of alert is called as cyclone alert this is issued at least 48 hours in advance and the third is cyclone warning alert this is issued at least 24 hours before now a very common discussions about tropical cyclones is that why are tropical cyclones in the ocean mein are more in the bay of bengal and less on the arabian sea ye fact hai in fact the ratio is approximately 4 is to 1 okay, for every or four cyclones of bay of bengal there is only one cyclone arabian sea mein arabian sea mein ek vayu raha hai i mentioned oki also but not too many of them on the arabian sea side its reason ye hai that the bay of bengal is actually smaller than the arabian sea so bay of bengal thoda jaldi garam ho jata hai the warming of bay of bengal is faster and that's one reason why there are too many depressions or low pressures forming on the bay of bengal the second reason is ki bahut sare cyclones jo hain wo beyond asia from the pacific side aate hain from parts of south china sea from the parts of west pacific aate hain so when they are crossing over some of these trade winds the monsoon winds can bring the cyclones from the parts of western pacific ocean and these cyclones are not able to cross india towards the arabian sea so that's one reason bay of bengal and its proximity with the parts of south china sea a third bahut important reason hai many of you will not know this ye bahut sare rivers to drain karte hain bay of bengal hai you have got a large river called as iravadi river salween river krishna godavari river kaveri river ye jo rivers drain karti hai bay of bengal mein this increases the gradient of pressure between the bay of bengal central and southern parts against the coastal areas of the bay of bengal because ultimately jo pressure systems hain they are the product of difference of pressure ya to water becomes very very warm and the low pressure becomes very very steep or the coastal areas can become relatively cooler and the difference of pressure is very very high so many people do not know this fact ke bay of bengal mein cyclone ka ek reason ye bhi hai the lot of fresh water addition around the coast that creates a steeper gradient of pressure and therefore the low pressure becomes very very powerful in the bay of bengal ek interesting fact about moka cyclone ye hai ke it is increasingly now being concluded that ye moka cyclone shayad a full powerful full force cyclone nahi banega iska do reason hai number 1 मोका साइक्लोन का जो लो प्रेशर सिस्टम है वो अभी भी प्रॉपरली फिक्स नहीं हुआ है इट कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग वेरिएशन तो शायद इट इज नॉट ए प्रॉपरली डेवलप्ड लो प्रेशर सेल दैट्स वन रीजन द सेकंड रीजन इज दैट जो मोका साइक्लोन हैज डेवलप्ड इन पार्ट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल इसके वजह से क्या है द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द साइक्लोन फ्रॉम द कोर्स इज वेरी लेस जब एक साइक्लोन पानी में बनता है सी में बनता है एंड इट मूव्स ओवर अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस it then acquires more moisture isme zyada moisture hota hai aur fir strong rainfall hota hai but if the origin is from the center of bay of bengal the distance covered from the center toward the coast very very less isme kam moisture hoga and therefore the rainfall may not be as powerful the gfs tells us that ye jo moka cyclone hai it probably will recurve towards myanmar and maybe parts of eastern bangladesh so maybe the indian coast gets spared i hope you like this video let me know if you want these kind of videos the idea is jo regular content hai jo churn hote hain usse sawal ab zyada nahi aayengi questions will come from more deeper aspects and some tricky aspects jo otherwise humse chhoot jati hain while we are reading and i'll recommend all of you should go through the small document which is published under 
नेशनल डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट का वेबसाइट है एंड यूल हैव क्वाइट अमाउंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन